How's it going, guys? Derek Cloud here, unreadliving.com, coming from Cairns, Queensland, baby. Day three, day three of our 30-day video challenge here. And uh, topic for today's video, do I think that plus-size models, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Does that inspire complacency amongst women? Or is it a good thing, you know, a good thing to have plus-size models um, in order to basically show that women can be any size and can be beautiful? Now I'm going to play a little bit of uh, devil, Devil's Advocate. I'm going to go probably a little bit against the grain on this one. I'm definitely going to say that I think that I can, I can see where, where the kind of media is coming from, like, you know, promoting that women can be any size and they can be beautiful. I think that's great. On, I honestly do. I don't think that your, uh, your self-worth or your self-value should rest solely on exactly the way that you look. But the problem with this, the problem with promoting... Uh, plus size models is that so you come you're coming from one you're coming from one point where everyone glorifies over these really really thin models and so women have this uh, women tend to start to develop like an eating disorder and that's not necessarily that's not necessarily a good thing so you have women who are you know puking up food and who are um, basically not eating not eating enough calories in the day just to get through them through the day a lot of girls are addicted to drugs like cocaine um, in order to kind of like, you know, fill them up in some kind of way. A lot of girls uh, will start smoking. A lot of girls will be addicted to stimulants in order to get themselves through the day. So with, uh, with coffees and with the various caffeinated drinks in the world. So obviously on one standpoint, glorifying over these very, very thin models tends to lead to a very kind of disordered mindset about uh, body image. Now, coming from the other standpoint, glorifying and promoting uh, women who are plus size, is, is that a better thing to do? Um, in my opinion, I think that is just, I wouldn't say it is, is ad, as bad, but I don't think it's a good thing to be doing. It's not a terrible thing, but it's definitely not a good thing to be glorifying that women can be any size and be beautiful. I'm not saying that a woman who is a little bit bigger isn't beautiful. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that when we glorify that a woman who is obviously overweight um, is, is, is fine. Like, it's, it's fine to be overweight. Like, don't, don't focus on, you know, changing your life in order, to, uh, in order to be, you know, fitter and healthier. It's fine to be overweight. So what I see this plus size model thing doing is that it's inspiring complacency amongst women. So a woman sees a plus size model and is like, oh, wow, that's great, you know. She's about the same size as me. She's overweight. I'm overweight. That's great. I'm beautiful just as I am. And you know what, I think you should start thinking along those lines. You should start thinking, you know what, I am beautiful as I am. I love and accept myself as I am. But at the same time, the complacency with this could be troubling because a lot of women um, could be going down the road, oh, okay, well it's alright if I, if I get ice cream. It's alright if I you know, go eat some McDonald's and you know, I don't eat the best, right? That's alright because I'm beautiful just as I am. This, that's kind of where the problem comes in, is that it does inspire this kind of complacency idea. Now, kind of the funny thing is that a lot, um, kind of being in this um, kind of high fruit lifestyle um, for the past couple of years, a lot of women, I'm not joking, the majority of women coming to this lifestyle are coming from a lifestyle of disordered eating. Like, I'm not joking. It is crazy how many uh, women who have anorexia or bulimia come to this lifestyle. So in a way, in a way, having these really, really thin models has actually inspired a lot of women to start eating a lot healthier. See, it sounds kind of strange, but a lot of women who come to this lifestyle is because you can eat as much fruit as you want, you can feel satisfied with food, and you can be healthy and thin as well. So in, in a way, it's not actually bad because it is actually inspiring women to eat healthier in a way. So with these plus size models, it's like, well, you know what? If you're, if you're overweight, just stay overweight because you're fine. So it's actually inspiring complacency. And complacency is not something that we necessarily, that people don't really need in their lives. You don't want to be complacent if you're actually unhappy with the way that you look. And say you're, um, you know, you're eating a lot of animal products and a lot of dairy and all that kind of stuff. That is not going to be good for your health because you're putting yourself at risk for you know, heart disease, uh, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, um, cancer, etc., etc., by consuming these foods. So, I personally, 
I don't think the plus size model thing, I don't think it's a good thing at all. Um, I don't think glorifying over really thin anorexic models is, uh, is a good thing either. Recommendation for women is to basically take your scale, either take a sledgehammer to it and smash it, or just to maybe get rid of it. Uh, I don't think that you want to be focusing directly on your body image that much. I understand that it's such, it's such a crazy idea in your head that you have to you know, look a certain way in order to feel good. I know it's really tough, but that's one of the things that you really kind of have to make a point in your life is that, you know what, if, if you weigh a little bit too much, it's not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. But the thing is that you want to start taking the steps in order to improving your health and improving your fitness, you know, by jumping on the high carb, uh, either raw vegan or vegan diet, and to start exercising and start improving your fitness. From, from a health standpoint, it's one of the best things that you can do. But if you get this complacency mindset that it's like, it's all right to be plus size, that is equally as bad as thinking that you have to be really thin to feel good about yourself and to be healthy. Two sides of the spectrum here. You gotta find a happy medium here. You wanna focus on what you're eating and how you feel about yourself and your thoughts about yourself. And that, it's fine. It's fine to be overweight. It's fine to have a few extra pounds. That's, that's all right. Like, it shouldn't, sh it shouldn't, determine how you feel about yourself. But at the same time, you shouldn't be complacent in your lifestyle. You shouldn't be complacent with your expansion and growth and improving yourself and to, you know, improving the way that you eat and to improving your, your overall fitness. Those are good things. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A little bit of a rant. Um, I'm not really body image obsessed with women. I, it, it might appear that I am in some kind of way, but I'm really... If a girl has a few extra pounds on her body, I don't really care that much. Honestly, I care more about her personality and how she lives her life. Like, I've made a list. I've made a list of all the attractive qualities that I find in a woman. And being slim and trim and healthy is one point amongst another 10 or 15 points. And that's the only one that's actually focused on the image of, of her body. I, ex I would expect if I'm going to be slim, trim, fit, and healthy that I would like a partner to be as well so that I can go exercise with her. But honestly, it doesn't, it's not even that big of a deal to me. It's not even that big of a deal. It's just an ideal that I have. But seriously, coming from a guy's standpoint, some guys might you know, have to have like the super rail thin girl. I don't really care that much. It's not a big deal in my life. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Peace out.